This is Inside Rams Camp, presented by Unify Financial Credit Union, and it's one of our favorite days of the summer for two very good reasons. The most prolific tight end in Rams franchise history, Tyler Higby, is our guest, always a fan favorite. And it's Vamos Rams Day here at UC Irvine. Troy and Ricardo, the voices of your Los Angeles Rams in Espanol, are with us. Bienvenidos, gentlemen. Great to see you. Great to see you, too. Happy New Year as we anticipate a new season. Tyler, great to see you as well. Let's start with the highlight of the day. You are authored it just moments ago in this end zone behind our shoulders here. Nice fade ball from Matthew Stafford. Break it down for yeah, us. Yeah, I appreciate it. It was actually a, a sluggo slant go. Got some off coverage. Uh, tried to beat him inside one, one step, and then uh, Matthew threw a great ball and ended up just going up there and getting it. Awesome. That's great. What's your second touchdown of the season with that kind of uh, movement? So pretty much uh, the first question I want to ask you, what happened to the hair? Uh, <laughs> it, uh, it was time. Uh, actually, uh, had a daughter, and one 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 night she was pulling on it. The next morning, I woke up. It was in my mouth, and I was like, you know what? It's time to cut it, boys. <laughs> <laughs> time to cut it. Hey, Tyler, uh, you are one of the veterans of the team. So many rookies, like 40 rookies. Mm -hmm. I want to ask you, how does it feel for you with so many young people comparing to when when you were a rookie? Yeah, uh, it's a little different. I mean, when I was a rookie, we had a fairly young team here when the Rams first moved out here to L.A. Um, obviously being, you know, in a different position now going into year eight. Um, you know, so just trying to be the best leader that I can be, you know, for those young guys, bring those guys along as fast as I can and, uh, you know, get them up to speed and, and uh, get them ready for the season. Yesterday, everybody was scared when uh, Cooper Cup didn't finish the practice. Mm -hmm. So uh, today it was a good news watching him around. So yeah. what do you think that's going to affect the, the, the wide receiver room and uh, the, your position during the beginning of the season? Yeah, I mean, that, that dude's, you know, that dude's one of one. Um, you know, he's such a great leader both on and off the field, such a great football player. Um, you know, even though he's out there, not out there practicing, he's going to have these, he's going to be out there coaching those young guys in the receiver room and making sure that everything's, you know, smooth as if he's not there. You know, we got a next up, next up mentality. And, um, you know, unfortunately, we're going to be missing him for the next couple of weeks, but he'll, uh, you know, He'll be back soon, and, and we'll be excited to have him. You said you feel healthier than last year mm -hmm. and just passed. Can you elaborate about that? Yeah, I mean, last year, you know, I ended up having a knee surgery in the off season, and, um, you know, didn't necessarily feel like I had the, uh, the, the off season to kind of build that armor and get ready to, you know, you know, sustain a, a long season, um, you know, and uh, knee was kind of bugging, you know, it's a week 10, 12, something like that last season. And, uh, you know, I just feel good. I feel like I had the right off season this year, got to get after it, get to work and um, feel, feel good coming into this camp. This year is going to be a different kind of challenge, actually um, beginning playing against uh, two division rivals. Mm -hmm. It's uh, a good thing or a bad thing? Yeah, it's a little different in the past, you know. It's always good, you know, getting against, uh, you know, those divisional opponents, you know. we got a good division, it seems like, almost every year. Um, one of the better ones in the league, and um, it's always a good challenge. Uh, I, I love playing in Seattle. You know, it's loud. It gets rowdy. Um, it's kind of, you know, there's nothing better than an atmosphere where you're going in there and it's everybody against you guys, and all you got is your, is your team around you and going in there and, and you know, silencing that crowd. So looking forward to it. I want to follow on that. What is your mindset thinking about September 17? San Francisco, the big rivalry, mm -hmm. those guys are so tough to beat for you guys especially. Uh, what's your mindset for that game? It's a huge game that can set the tone for the rest of the season for the No Rams. doubt, no doubt. I mean, you know, uh, it's always one at a time. Um, you know, my my mindset's on the Seahawks. I know we got them week one. Um, can't be looking past them to get look to somebody else. But, you know, anytime we're going into any team in the week, but especially the team up north, we're always looking forward to, you know, getting after it. you got to come with a physical game and uh, be ready to play. Living in Los Angeles and today's uh, Vamos Rams Day, obviously the Rams have a lot of Latino uh, fans. What's your message for them and in, uh, in this season, which is going to be really, really, really challenged? Yeah, you know, um, I think every season, you know, um, every season has its own challenge. Every season is different, you know. You can never expect anything, and it's always, you know, no matter how much carryover or certain things you have, there's always going to be different challenges going into a new season. Um, you know, and we certainly have ours. Again, we have a group of young guys. It's, you know, right now it's about getting them up to speed, taking it a day at a time. You know, we can't look too far in advance. It's got to be – you got to be where your feet are, be present, um, and be able to come out here and work every single day. And uh, that's, that's kind of where our mindset is now, and, um, you know, just take it day by day. JB mentioned that you are the most distinguished tight end in the history of this great organization. More than 100 games, 300 catches, more than 5,000 snaps. Can you give me 
what you expect from the position of tight end and the offense even NFL in the future because the way this game is evolving, mm -hmm. how you see this uh, the offenses in football uh, coming up together in the, in the future, like coming in the future, what you expect to see? Yeah, you know, I think, I mean, you've seen it change kind of with the tight end from what it used to be. Um, you know, and that's happened over the last 10, 15 years in the, in the game of the NFL. Um, not necessarily a guy who's always got his hand in the dirt being a big bruiser blocker, you know what I mm -hmm. mean? Starting to get some more athletic guys, being able to move them on the edge, some pass catchers and stuff like that. Um, but, yeah, you know, you just got to be, a, you know, especially with this Rams offense, you got to be a smart dude, you got to play physical, and you got to have a little finesse to your game, you know. So just try to be able to be do whatever they ask me to do, and um, that's it. So more active than – yeah, right yeah, yeah, I think so, and I think that's the way the games, you know, evolve. Bigger dudes who can, you can get out there with a, you know, a safety linebacker matchup and still have a, you know, still have a better matchup with the tight end rather than you know getting a small receiver or a big slow tight end. So, and especially now you are 100% healthy, so I can wait to watch it again in the field, and I'm pretty sure it's going to be a fun season for everybody. Definitely, yeah, looking forward to it. So next to us is Coach McBain doing another interview. You have seen his whole head coach career mm -hmm. here in the Rams during yeah. your eight season. Uh, can you describe the evolution of Sean McVay from your perspective as a player? Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I was honestly a little bit surprised when he first came in. I think he was 31 years old, I think, when he first got the head coaching job. I mean, walking around the way he carried himself, you thought he was, a, you know, had been coaching head coach for 10 years, was a, you know, 45-year-old man, but, you know, his ability to be able to relate to the players, but yet still carried this presence about him. Um, and that dude's one of the best leaders I've ever been around, I've ever seen, um, and a uh, special coach. Um, and just watching him, you know, evolve as a coach as well uh, has been pretty cool. Learning from some of his, you know, his mistakes, just like we do as players, um, and then just getting better every, every year, every year, and uh, excited to still be here working with him. All right, gentlemen, finally, we were not Tyler's first stop as he wrapped up practice for all the very best reasons. It's been so cool to watch you grow and mature and go through life's phases. Uh, how's life off the field for the Higby family and bring us up to speed on what uh, the offseason has been like? It's great. Uh, I got a I got a fiance now. I got a I got a nine month old daughter. Mm -hmm. um, it's been amazing watching her grow from a little potato into a little <laughs> human. Um, so it's been amazing. Yeah. You know, I got to see him for the first time, my ladies, for the first time in, in about 10 days. So. Excited to have him here and uh, spend a little time with him on the off day tomorrow. You do forget how isolated you are down here in Irvine. Like, this is true camp mode. You don't get to see your loved ones no, every day. No, it's, it's eat, sleep, shh, football. We, met, we already got yeah. that on tape from previous <laughs> years. You're good to go yeah. there. Uh, Tyler, wonderful to see you. Troy, Ricardo, have a great season ahead. I'm J.B. Long. Thanks, this is Inside Rams Camp. Brought to you by Unify Financial Credit Union. Should we finish the way we always do on Bam. Vamos Rams Day? Of course, yeah. Uno, dos, tres. Vamos, Vamos Rams! Rams.